in Virginia in the US after being in Chile for almost three weeks. Crazy. And before we get into the meat and potatoes of this bike check video, I wanted to give you a little disclaimer and let you know that although I filmed this video with my copper colored 3T Ultra, her name is Terry Cotta, I unfortunately found a crack in the seat stay on the frame on Friday about 30 hours before the race start. Super stressful, really sad because I love that bike. Um, but with the help of Eduardo from All For Bikes in Santiago, he was able to connect me with KV Cycling, the 3T distributor in Chile. And with 3T's help, we got a new frame sent over to Eduardo. He put a Kogo bottom bracket in it, sent it on a plane with somebody coming for the race the next day. And within literally like 15 hours, a new frame arrived. Thankfully, there was a bike shop on site and N Cycling swapped over the parts from the old frame to the new frame. And shortly after that, I was able to go for a ride on my new bike. New bike day, not in the best circumstances, but it was really stressful and it, honestly, really sad because I really loved the terracotta colored frame, but it meant that I was able to ride and race the next morning at 6 a.m. So this video, this bike check is about the copper colored frame, terracotta. Let's get into it, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Hi friends, Wawagan here, and I am in Melepeoco, Chile, getting ready for Across Andes, which is a 630 mile bikepacking race with 41,000 to 42,000 feet of elevation gain. And I've got my 3T Ultra here, and I wanted to show you what I am running on the bike for the race, so let's get started. I just recently made a video about the items I put in all of my bags for Badlands. If you wanna see that video, you can click the link here. Today I wanna show you what I have on the bike itself to make it running, so tires, navigation, lights, and obviously the bags that I'm using to hold all of the stuff. I use the Wahoo Element Roam, and this is actually a new version of the Roam, and I'm really happy about it. It has a USB-C port in it. That means that I only have to carry an iPhone cord and a USB-C cord for the race. So it just means less cords, which is really helpful, less stuff. Underneath, I'm also carrying a DJI Action 3 camera. So when I started doing the YouTube stuff, I decided to purchase an action camera, and this is actually a newer one. It's got a cool mount that it has a magnetic uh, on and off tabs on either side. I've got this underneath my Wahoo and I can take it on and off easily without um, having to untwist it like maybe the GoPro does. I'm using a SRAM Force mullet build with a 10 to 52 cassette on the back and I have a 40 tooth chain ring in the front and that gearing ratio is great for being able to spin on climbs, but also there is a good bit of road on the route. So I definitely need more of the lower gears to be able to ride a little bit faster on those road sections. For wheels, I am riding my trusty Hunt 35 Carbon X-Wides. And for the tires, I've got a new Schwalbe tire called the Overland in 40C. It is a little bit more tread, but I figured it would be good for some of the deeper gravel sections that I've heard are pretty technical. I recently upgraded to the Apodura 1.2 liter food pouch, which allows me to put a pint of ice cream in there. It also has external mesh pockets, which are great for extra trash. In keeping with the bike bags, I am using a Apodura bolt-on top tube pack, which is basically electronics. I've got a frame pack here that I put a 1.2 liter water bladder in and three water bottles. And I also have a racing saddle pack that is five liters and it holds all of my clothes and any extra food that I am carrying. On the back of the racing saddle pack, I have a collapsible water bottle that's 1.5 liters and it has a water filter on the top. So if there's a section on the route, which there are a few where there are no stores, especially at night, I have the extra water that I can put in the musette bag that folds up and goes kind of in behind my frame pack. So it's a great way to have extra water. And with that and the 1.5 liter and my three water bottles, I can actually carry seven liters of water on this bike, which is heavy. But if you need the water, you need the water. For lights, I have the Phoenix HM65R and it is a rechargeable battery light that you can also put disposable batteries in. So I will carry the rechargeable battery and two or three sets of the disposable and this should last me the whole race. 
I have this exact same light that has a headlamp strap on it in my bag with also the rechargeable battery. So if this one breaks, I have a secondary backup. I don't carry a light on the front because this is enough light for me. It may not be a lot, enough light for most people and a lot of people like to have two, but this is great for me. I'm not bringing a sleep system, but I am bringing a range of cycling clothing, including a puffy jacket, a rain jacket, a gilet, arm warmers, knee warmers, and a second pair of socks in case my feet get really cold at night because the temperature is supposed to be pretty low in the 40s. I will also carry a second pair of bibs to change into and a Delta bandana from Velocio to uh, keep the dust from my mouth because it, there, it's pretty dusty here and when a car drives by, the dust can really make you cough a lot. So I wanna avoid that issue. All of the clothes are gonna go in my racing saddle pack along with some extra food. I'm carrying two 10,000 mAh batteries to charge my cell phone, AirPods, the Element Roam that I use for navigation, and also the Phoenix light. I'm carrying a couple extra batteries for D the DJI Adventure camera. Who knows how much I'll actually be able to film, but I am gonna try. And those all go here in the bolt-on top tube pack so I can easily pull out the cord to my computer or I put my cell phone in the top tube pack to be able to charge it. That's my setup on the 3T Ultra for the Across Andes bike packing race. I've got a few other videos about the Across Andes race. One of them is how to prepare for an ultra race and how to get there. You can find that video here. And I also have one about how I trained for Andes and just in general for ultra racing. You can find that here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Watt Wagon out. Okay. Done. Harry, you serve a good tour. Sadly.